Of course, flooding concerns don't just start and end with the streets and sidewalks. Homes and business owners are also dealing with rising water, and they spent the day cleaning up and trying to prevent more damage. News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner joins us live from State Boulevard. Sarah? Mark and Heather, anyone out on the roads can see the potential for flooding, but it's also affecting the inside of homes and businesses. We, put, we spoke to several people today that say this problem is nothing new for them, but they're taking action now to stop the problem from growing. This is what we deal with every year, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there deal with the same thing, but that's, that's part of where you live and, and how you have to react to keep your home safe. Jim Kosh lives in Hoagland and spent the morning filling sandbags and loading up for a potential mess. We may get 50 degrees today and rain. That's that's a recipe for, you know, catastrophe. The Koshes live in a low-lying area and say this type of rain and snow combination is nothing new. And hopefully we'll be able to keep the water out of our basement uh, just like everybody else is trying to do. Jim started preparing yesterday and feels confident the dozens of sandbags he picked up this morning will do the trick to keep his home safe and dry. Homeowners aren't the only people cleaning up today. The owners of King Euros off of Goshen Road also woke up to an unwelcome surprise this morning. We're lower than what the road is, so water flows this way and this drain sometimes it keeps up but sometimes it doesn't and when it doesn't it goes inside. This morning there was about an inch of standing water inside the dining room of King Euros. They were able to move that water out onto the pavement and are now controlling it with sandbags. We were able to get in here early enough so we all came in clocked in a little early and busted our backs and got it done. Now, despite the mess, King Euros was able to open on time today. The owner says he feels confident that they'll be able to control any more possible flooding with the sandbags they got today. Reporting live from State Boulevard, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.